like falling deeper. Cold on ice, not no more shit. It's very delicious. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing another cafe hopping vlog. I'm super excited because we're gonna go to a few different neighborhoods than we did last time. If you haven't seen my first cafe hopping vlog, I will link it up here. It's a very sunny and bright day today, and so we're heading up to U District slash Roosevelt area for our first big cafe, so come along. <laughs> friends we are now on day two of cafe hopping we're gonna hit up some cafes in fremont today there's actually one new coffee shop that just opened up recently that i want to check out that's apparently very aesthetic let's go this audio is gonna be good but I'm gonna try because it's very loud in here but we made it and there's a lot of people here like this place is popping so but I got the sesame latte which is apparently their most popular coffee mm. it has this like sesame cream foam thing on top and then coffee on the bottom like Vietnamese coffee on the bottom it's very delicious anyway I'm gonna enjoy this and then we're probably gonna get going honestly because it's very Routed. Hello friends, we're finally home. Also, here is the little pearl necklace that I got from Farmer's Market. It's handmade. It has the big pearls and then a bunch of tiny little pearls in between, but I thought it was just so pretty. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with pearls recently, so. Here are lovely flowers that we got from the Farmer's Market. She's so pretty. Next cafe. 
cafe. It's called Cafe Enclair. It's actually, well, this location specifically is located within an office building, but it's so gorgeous in here, honestly, and very quiet. And I'm just gonna probably work here for a little bit until I have to go. Anyway, I'll show you the goodies that we got. First up is this iced oat milk vanilla latte. This is a classic. I got this last time I was here too, and it's very good. A lovely blueberry scone. Mm. Is it good? The outside is like perfectly crispy, and the inside is so moist and fluffy. Sierra's, I think. I've never had anything like this before. It's like cake, but like a cracker? I don't know. Oh, this is the honey one. Mm. This one's my favorite. I'm on my way to Pure Bar. got done with pure bar that was honestly one of the hardest pure bar classes i've ever done but i don't know if it's just because i haven't been to bar in a really long time so my first class back but it felt so good low-key painful but good in the end but they had their one year anniversary of like opening up their studio and so they made little cookies to celebrate it was so cute Wear a hat, sometimes play chess And when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore saw this other little cafe called Pluto's Cafe, I think, and I had smoothies and I was like, it's hot and I need something refreshing, so. Also, can I just say how massive this smoothie is? Y'all, I honestly probably look crazy being like sitting here by myself and ordering three baked goods or three pastries, but it's okay, I did it for y'all. First off, this lemon, it's like Asichon tart. It's so crispy. This is a seasonal, apparently, favorite, and it's the Mount Rainier. And lastly, lovely spinach croissant. Let us try this spinach croissant. Posted my be real. Oh, Y'all made it. I guess I think this one's better. It's a little more tart. The Citron one was not as citrusy as I thought it was gonna be. On my way back home now, but kind of sad. That French bakery wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be, but I still liked going for the experience and the pastries were cute in the end. Anyway, I think I will end today's cafe hopping vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.